great ANC earbuds and a tiny hockey puck. Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out these. These, let me open it up, let me take one out, are the Odit Twig Pro ANC earbuds and they're really pretty slick. So you can see they have a very unique design. The case is incredibly hand friendly. It feels really nice in your hands. It charges via USB-C, cable included. And then when you're ready to use them, you just open it up and then your left ear is on the left side, your right ear is on the right side. Super easy to put them in and comes with three sizes of ear tips. This um, so you can get the right fit, which is super important. They are paired basically instantly. Once you open this up, they go into pairing mode. They are already paired and ready to go with my phone. Really doesn't get much easier than that. It's really hard for me to talk with these in when they're playing music. So I will take them back out and I will tell you that they feature dual 12 millimeter drivers and they have dual CVC microphones for when you're talking and they have four more microphones built on board these little tiny devices that give you active ANC. Now, the chips that's powering these is the Qualcomm QCC5141. All you need to know is that gives you Bluetooth 5.0, it gives you great connectivity, lots of range. They're always in sync, there's no lag. So if you wanna watch videos, there's no weird out of sync voices or anything like that. APTX adaptive and AAC, so they have the best possible sound on Android and iPhones, that's super important. Battery life, 5.5 hours on an earbud, three more charges if you put them in the case, easy to work with. The on-stem controls are a little funky. As you can see in this close-up, there's actually a button on each stem. So having it in your ear, you do have to sort of move your finger around until you can feel that button. But once you do, you can push it, and here's some of the different button pushes. So short and long make a big difference. Uh, they're also IPX4 water resistant, which is handy. And like I said, it's hybrid ANC. But what I want to really get into is I want to show you the app that's associated. I probably have to have one of these in my ear for it to work. And they actually have a free app that you can download called Odit. And um, it's actually playing music. Let me pause that. And so here's the app. And... Um, it's already, well, it's, it should have already been connected to my earbuds, but let's just go ahead and connect again. And so that should get us connected. I'll put the other one in just for good luck. And now you can see here that it shows you battery on ANC. You can actually adjust your ANC or just switch quick to ambient, which gives you the ability to hear everything going on around you too. I just tend to have ANC on maximum so that I get the least possible ambient noise around me. There's an EQ and every company has a slightly different visual presentation for their equalizer. This one's kind of fun where you have warm, soft, cold, and hard as your four variables. But of course, listen to music and adjust it while you're listening and you can fine tune what you prefer. Um, you can also choose some presets. I am intrigued that their four presets are jazz, EDM, pop, and classic. But since that's a lot of what I listen to, that works out really well. Uh, let's see, there's also a fun find me. And since I haven't turned on location for this app, it still thinks that I'm actually in South Korea. My guess is that's where the factory is, where they did the QA for these earbuds. But unless I turn on settings, that won't be useful. But if I do turn on settings, it's actually super helpful that, let me take these out of my ears. <laughs> it's super helpful that these can find your lost earbuds just as like Apple AirPods Pro can do it, right? So these really compete directly with the AirPods Pro. So I would say that they have uh, comparable ANC and their sound, we'll come back to that in a second. I really like the case design. It's just kind of fun that once it's closed, it's super easy and portable and comfortable in your hand, really easy to work with. 
the app works really well. In fact, let me turn off the recording. Okay, so um, lots to like here. So let's talk about the sound. Now, I found the sound to be really good, actually, um, with ANC on. ANC changes the sound signature a little bit. So if you do have ANC earbuds or headphones, always try listening to your music in a quiet room, both with and without ANC, so you can experience how sort of just the texture of the sound changes slightly. It's kind of hard to put into words, but if you listen, you'll see what I mean, or more likely hear what I mean. Um, so I would say good sound stage, nice sound reproduction. It's not a very flat reproduction, though I can probably fiddle with the EQ to get it to be more so. It's a little bass heavy. You see that when EDM is one of their four listed music styles, and I think it's actually a good American adjustment. So it is a little bass heavy. It's a clean, crisp signal, and the sound is nice but it really wants you to have some music that has some good bass in it. So I chose Daniel Pemberton's soundtrack to the great TV series, The Game. Really hard to find, unfortunately, but really a great Cold War suspense drama. And he's done a lot of music, uh, movie soundtracks and such. And this one's just really a really fun soundtrack. And so it makes it really good for auditioning audio gear. And they sound really good. It sounded really good. I really enjoyed the soundtrack. I was skipping to my favorite tracks and everything. So they really got a lot right. And the price point is very pleasant if you've been looking at Apple gear. Now, of course, these are black and Apple are white. So you have to decide which color you like. But of course, there's a lot more to it. Not the least of which is this completely radically different case design. So that's really all I can share with you, and I really like these. I think they've done a really nice job with everything. Oh, and if you're on a phone call, you're going to sound really good, and that's one of the advantages of having that stem design is that the microphones can get a little closer to your mouth, which doesn't seem like it would matter that much, but in my experience, it does. And if you are on a call and you want to be hands-free, then you definitely want the other person to be able to hear you clearly not be saying, uh, what? I'm sorry, you sound really muddy. So that's not what happens here, which is great. So we need to talk about the price. And the only thing I want to say before we get to the price is if you could subscribe, I would appreciate that. Click or tap on that subscribe button and boom, you're connected. Excellent. All right. This is the Odit Twig Pro Bluetooth wireless ANC earbuds with adaptive APTX. <laughs> lots of things to throw at you. Um, they are $149 discounted down to $129 at amazon.com. And I would say at that price for really nice sounding adaptive ANC, APTX and AAC earbuds with lots of features and a super simple, you, you know, sort of design for usability. These are definitely worth checking out. So that's all I got. I think I'm going to go back to my Pemberton and just got to turn it this way first and that means that i will have to catch you in my next video